Hey guys, in this video, you are going to learn what is data context, right? We are going to get answer to following questions. What is data context? What is the use of data context? And the relation with the lookup function, right? What are all this? We are going to get complete details by watching this particular video. So why delay? Let's get started. Now the very first thing, let's have a small demo. Then we will understand what is data context. So let me hit on preview. Now if you look at the preview, here I am saying data context example and here it is saying select employee ID. So let me select one of the employee ID. By selecting the employee ID, what happened? The rest of the text boxes got auto populated. Now you will say Rakesh, this we can achieve by different means what is data context here yes data context is going to help you to write minimum lookup function now to do this in mostly you have seen by using multiple lookup functions for each of these text boxes we can also achieve the same goal but using data context i'll be only using the lookup function once by using only once i'll be able to pull all the records so that is magnificent about data context so how to do that let's understand one by one now for this i am going to delete all of these things and we are going to start from scratch okay so let me select the layout and i am going to uh, delete all of this Okay, now let's say I do not have any understanding of data context. Now I would like to understand what is data context. Now for this, first of all, let's build a table inside the data service. Okay, for example, here I have built a simple, simple table called employees table. Now inside the employee table, I have got uh, employee ID, name, mobile, email address. Let me show you the data to be quite clear. So you can see there is an employee ID. There is a name field, there is a mobile field, there is an email field and there is a photo. Now let's say I would like to fetch some of these data and show it in the app. From the data service, I would like to fetch some of this data and show it inside the app. So how data context can be used and as I said the point by using data context, I'll be using the lookup function only once and how that lookup function works, everything you are going to see. Now the very first thing we will do, we will drag and drop a simple drop down. Just keep watching how I am doing and you will be able to understand everything in detail. Now before dragging and dropping this drop down, ensure you have already imported the entity. Now to import the entity is quite simple, you already know it. Click here and click on entity. And the entity which is there in the data service, you just have to select, right, select and add it simple so i have already added it i don't have to do it again now in the drop down in the label section i am going to change it to select employee id what i am saying select employee id once i do that i want all those employee ids there in the data service should be able to show it here now to do that list source i will put equals to symbol and I am going to select the entity. Here it is written entity, remember. Okay. The data context is completely blank now. There is no data context. Now what I am doing, I am simply selecting the entity. No data context, simply selecting the entity. Once I have selected the entity, now I am going to define which column from the employees table you would like to show in the drop down. So I am saying, hey, you show the employee IDs. By doing this, if I hit on preview, you can see here in the drop down, the employee IDs, I have got only two rows of data. So both the data has appeared here. Both the employee IDs are, employee IDs are appearing here. So this is done. Here the data context can be utilized either in a container, in a page. Remember, these are two controls, either any kind of page controls or any kind of container controls, we can use it. So here it is a container, right? this is a container. So in, in, these are the two areas where you can use a data context. Now for example, if I select a page, you can see there is a field called data context. So page is one of the area where you can use data context. Another area is container. If you select container also, you can see the data context is available in the property panel. 
clear now let us use select the page in the page there is something called data context in this data context i will write a lookup function so what i want anytime the user is selecting the employee id from the above drop down the name should appear that is my code now for the lookup function simply user equals to symbol and scroll down and select the function called lookup okay selected now put parenthesis inside the parenthesis i am going to say hey select from this entity what the source to look for the data is this table or the entity right so i am selecting employees table now remember you have to always select everything from the entity section not from the data context section always from the entity section so here what i have selected employees table let me do it again first we will write what equals to symbol then select the function lookup function use parenthesis inside the parenthesis i'll be selecting from the entities i'm selecting employees table then i'll put a comma and then write two square brackets inside the square bracket right open and close square brackets inside that i am saying see data context is coming so do not select anything from the data context minimize it go to the entity from the entity employees table you expand and here i am saying employee id of the table should match with the drop down value so i'll put employee id of the table comma then put double quote and write equals to symbol then put a comma and say drop down value so drop down value is here in the new page i'm going to select the drop down value getting it so look at it nowhere it should say data context here okay here it should be directly coming from the entity so here entity in that whatever the value selected in the drop down should match with the column employee id available in the table so here we are selecting the employee id so it will match that means inside this it will let's say i am going to select 1001 so it will say 1001 so the lookup function is going to pull out the entire record okay this entire row this entire row will be pulled this entire row will be pulled by using the lookup function so it will see 1001 okay match then entire row of data will be the output remember the entire row is the output always remember in the lookup function single record of an entity or a row the entire row a single row will be output of lookup function very very important fact okay all right now once you do that so this is going to fetch the entire record now what i will do i will drag and drop a simple text box okay let's add a text box control and here in the text box i am going to name it something i am going to name it as uh, let's say name okay now look at it how this is functioning this will be wonderful so here i am not going to write any lookup function for the name simply all i will do select the name um, uh, control go to the value binding click here and then i am going to go to the data context now and here i am going to double click name so this data context means single record so in the name field whatever is there the output will appear here for example let me show you hit on preview now look at it everything is currently blank let me select 1001 the moment i select 1001 what happened my name has come getting it now let me select 1002 the moment i do this the second name is coming so it is quite simple i did not write now just imagine if you have to do it multiple times let's say i want to have another control text box i'll control v and then i am change it let's say i want the mobile number of this so i will uh, what i will do i'll go to the value binding and here uh, in the data context under the data context i will select let's say mobile number and the label of this i will change it to mobile so like that you can have n number of text boxes required without writing the lookup function several times for each of the text boxes so now let me hit on preview now in the preview let me you can see everything is currently blank now let me select the 1002 by selecting 1002 what happened all the text boxes got populated right just imagine if there are 10 text boxes you would have written 10 lookup functions now with the help of data context only at one place i am writing the lookup function and the same thing i am using it all over my design and i am pulling the data now you can see i have shown you for two text boxes like that you can keep on adding more text boxes and pull more data and show them 
with the help of data context. Thank you guys for watching. We are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.